Hi, I'm Ranger Erin, and today we're asking the question of why do animals have such very different types of feet? So first we have to think about the fact that our animals are all living very different lives. They might be living in different habitats. We've definitely got some of our animals living out in water or aquatic areas. Uh, we've got some animals that are living on the ground, those terrestrial habitats. We've got animals that are living up in the treetops, those arboreal areas. And then in areas that are even further afield, we've got deserts and tundra and places where there's lots and lots of snow and places where they don't have very much water. And all of those things are gonna affect um, how that animal lives its life. They're also coming in different sizes. So we've got tiny carnivores out here like our weasel, and we've got really big herbivores out here like our white-tailed deer, and size means it's gonna matter how they move. So a smaller animal is gonna move a little bit differently from a really big animal. And then of course, what they're eating also matters. So we've got those herbivores, the plant eaters. We've got our carnivores, the meat eaters. We've got our omnivores like us eating a little bit of both. We've even got some detritivores, which are eating all of that dead stuff out here. And how you get your food is also gonna make a difference about how you move. So we, we've already got these animals living in very, very different ways, whether that's where they're living, that habitat, how big they are, and what types of food they're choosing. Those are just some three really obvious things that those animals are gonna be a little bit different. And how they move is really gonna determine what types of adaptations they have. So that adaptation is gonna be something that they either do or have, so it's either a part of their body or it's something that they do that's gonna help them to meet their needs. I'm just gonna show you a few different types of feet that I've got uh, that'll show you maybe some different things that you can do with your feet and why you might have a different type of foot. So we'll start off with that white-tailed deer. Everybody knows that two-toe, uh, and they have really kind of small feet for how big they are, but those small feet are very sure-footed. So they've got those hooves which allow them to dig in and they can spring away and they can follow trails that are much smaller than a human can follow. So really small feet, but for really fast, sure-footed movement. For our aquatic animals, you might have webbing like this mallard. So that mallard is gonna have webbing in between its toes because it's gonna spend a lot of its life swimming around in the water. So where it lives kind of determines what its feet are gonna look like. Another bird, our turkey, is gonna have strong claws for digging in the ground to find some good food, some seeds and some grubs, but it's also gonna have a strong clawed foot in order to perch so it's kind of have has that grasping action with its feet. Another animal that grasps that opossum has something that looks a lot like a thumb because this is an animal that likes to live up in trees. So it has that thumb that's going to allow it to crawl up trees and really hold onto those branches and not fall down. Our skunk never goes up in trees. It's got feet that are gonna allow it to dig. So it's got strong claws that are very tight together that make its foot almost like a shovel. So it can dig deep in the ground to find some of its favorite food like those uh, baby hornets. And then our fox has got some claws on there because that fox is gonna be a predator. So it's gonna need some claws in order to uh, help it take down some of its prey, so to attack that uh, small rabbit out in the field. I'm gonna go ahead and give you your first activity, which is to play around with your adaptation. So we've got a really great adaptation that's on our hand. Uh, so we're, we walk on our two feet, but we're gonna count all four of our limbs here. I want you to try and think about what you do with your thumb. So I want you to make a list of five things that you do with your thumb, and then I want you to pick one thing that you do every day. So maybe it is uh, drinking out of your water bottle, and I want you to try and do it without your thumb. So think about how much that thumb helps. You'll probably be able to do it, but it's gonna be a whole lot harder. This is Russell, our educational box turtle, and he is a turtle that lives on the land. And you can see that his feet are really meant for clawing in the dirt, to dig up all of those delicious worms that he loves to eat. Brandy is our red-eared slider, and she's a turtle just like Russell, but she lives in the water, and her feet are large and paddle-like and a little bit webbed. And of course, she's gonna be a little bit shy, but you can see that she's got much larger 
hands and they have webbing in between the toes. On your hike, I want you to be on the lookout for some tracks. Now I was fortunate enough to come out here on a snowy day, which is a great day to look for tracks, but you can also look in sand and mud are great places. When you find those tracks, you don't have to know what animal they are, but I want you to try and imagine what you can do with a foot like the one that you're seeing. Does it look like something that would be good for climbing? Does it look like it would be something good for running? Or maybe it would be something that would be good for swimming. I've got a set of gray squirrel tracks in the snow and you can see that those long toes are really great for climbing. So this is a really good climbing track. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you all next week.